Good everything. All right, guys. We are on what I would consider the hardest intermediate algorithm scripting section. Arguments optional. Now, I had to leave some notes in here because it took me a while just to get the concept down. So um, there's basically six things we have to do. Essentially what's going on here is we want to add two numbers together or we want to add two parameters together or we want to add two functions with a parameter each together and we want to be able to tell if it's a number as our inputs or if they're not. So the easiest way to slice this up is using arguments and because we're not taking in we're going to set a function that doesn't require anything to be taken in but you can always add stuff. So what I did was I created an array that slices the arguments, arguments being every all the parameters that all the inputs. What we want to do is I create a array and we're going to do this by doing this and then we want to dot slice dot call the arguments. And we'll go ahead and uh, return right here params so we can we can check as we go along so it might make a little more sense let's go ahead and return that cool so you'll see right now we basically slice these values slice one into uh, our array slice two into our array so cool so that everything's working so far now that's about as easy as this is gonna get <laughs> so uh, I guess we could add the two values together first so let's start there so we'll start with an if statement where it simply checks if the length of our array is exactly two. So the reason we're gonna check that is if we have a, a number number one and number two, we can add those together very simply. So that's why we're gonna knock this out first. So we can just go ahead and return uh, the zero index and the first index value. And this will give us our This will give us our output. Make sure it's equal to two. It's going to run that. Harms is not defined. You are correct. Cool. So you see, two and three returns five, but we still got to knock out these other four. Now, I used every. It's a built-in JavaScript function where we're going to iterate. We're going to do an if statement, and we're going to say if any of those values are not numbers return undefined so that's going to take care of this string right here let's go ahead and do that cool all right uh so right now it's returning this because uh yeah who knows why but <laughs> that's what it's returning more or less but um, so instead what we want to do is we want to do an if statement that's going to check our params for every value. And within here, we're going to create a function that takes in, I'm putting params, geez. Params, we're going to create a function that takes in a single parameter. So the, the value we want to check is the parameter that we're going in. So check the first array index, check the second array index, check the third array. Each one of those index values is the param. So function we want to do some stuff. And in this function, we want to return type of, and if, uh, of our param of the value we're checking return the type of the value we're checking if it is exactly equal to the number number being an integer so turn type of number Oops. I have a bracket issue here Let's see else we want to return undefined Let's see if this fix it Uh, no capital zero. So, all right. So, return the type of number for every. If it's not true, basically, if this is not true, so if it's ever false, this whole thing, 
return undefined. So even if there is a number here, eventually after going to the next spot, it would, if we made this 555, five, five, it would eventually break. Oh, actually, this is a string. That's why it's not checking the value of string. If we were to put in an integer, with well, the quotes we're setting as a string. Let's see here. All right, so uh, check the number. If it's not a number type, return undefined. Cool, we're almost there. Um, now we, we have basically an else statement to do here. So it's going to do else. And our cork. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. So we have our last part. We need it to run when, when there are two functions, essentially. Run add together with two, followed by add together with three. We need to know what that is. We don't want to call it twice. We want to just want it to do work like that. That's really all you have to understand. So we want to store the first parameter because we need it. We're going to store that. And remember, we split split it, and that's going to be. Uh, our parameter zero, so our first value. We want to store that so that we can run a function within a function. We want to run the function, whatever that returns, we want to use to run within a new function we're going to create right now. So the next part is store function that will take in the second parameter and using recursion, call itself to add the values. So how do we do that? Well, you create a variable, so I called mine add one more so add one more is a function that takes in a second parameter and then what we're gonna do is store that value in there so what we want to do here is basically using recursion call our uh, function add together and we want to put in that first parameter which is a simple number and that second parameter which is a number as well and just run it through our add together function, our, our largest scope function, and that will give us a value. And that's all we're getting. We're storing it. We're using recursion to call a function that it, we're going to set a variable to a function that returns a value using recursion. So add together, and then we're just going to put our two, two parameters in. We have first param and second param. And then, uh, because we need to actually, all we're doing here is storing it, outside of this, we can go ahead and say return add one more. And that's going to return the value. And then, I believe we don't need this. And this was for this line. And there you go. So. One more time, I'm going to walk through it because there's a lot of stuff going on in here. Um, it's only 26 lines of code with a bunch of comments, but there's a lot of stuff going on. So we're going to slice up each parameter in, and store it into an array. So it could have a million parameters, it's going to have a million length array. We're then going to check and tell if it returns false for the parameter that we're checking to be not a number go ahead and return undefined. So if this is ever false, return undefined because it's not a number. Now, if there's only two parameters, go ahead and add them. Else, we want to store the first value of that. With that, we're going to create another variable in which we store the value from a function in which we basically just pr take parameter one and parameter two and run it, run it using recursion. And then at the end, we just want to go ahead and return that value if we get to here. So I hope that makes sense. I know this is a little bit of a harder one. This took me a couple days to kind of figure everything out and a lot of, a lot of Googling, a lot of research. Um, so that's arguments optional. And uh, hopefully you found it helpful. I know it took me a minute. But uh, as always, guys, um, don't forget to like and subscribe and support me on Patreon. I appreciate it a ton.